Okay, I got another thing. I've been wanting to get one. I finally broke down and got a cast iron uh, Dutch oven, but I got I got one that's a little bit different than the normal. So let's open this box up. So here we go. Pulled it out. That's about a 10 inch skillet. This is a three quart Dutch oven. Now the only difference from the standard Dutch oven is usually you have a nice big handle and and a divot in the top to pile coals on. You can still put coals on the top of that, but you get a, you get a twofer with this. Twofer as in not only do you have the Dutch oven, you get to have the top be a skillet. So for me, I thought the idea of having something with more than one purpose and a small class B made a good sense. And again, this was an Amazon deal and not too expensive. The trick is going to be uh, getting this out of the fire when you use it in a fire. But that's what, what pot holders and all that kind of stuff is for. So this will be added on to when I actually use it. So it might be a little bit. They also claim that it comes pre-seasoned. And... Not only do you get the skillet and Dutch oven, you get a little book with mostly other stuff you can buy. I was hoping there would be some cool recipes, but I mean, welcome to the wor world of the internet. You can get all the recipes you want online and a little booklet on how to care for it. So before I use it, I'm actually going to read that and do what it says. I washed the Dutch oven, both parts of it, and even though it comes seasoned, I'm going to go ahead and season it some more. That is just standard, regular vegetable oil. I used a paper towel, put it all around the inside. Usually on these, you also want to do the outside. And again, they come pre-seasoned. Lots of people argue whether or not you even need to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. And then I'll do the bottom part. So that's seasoning. Now we got the uh, the bottom on. And remember, turn on if you're inside, turn on your vent fan because they're gonna smoke because they're heating up oil. Uh, a lot of people will do these on a big grill or in the oven. You can do that too if you want. 